Hey everyone, Stephanie here, coffee drinker, book lover, and reviewer of many things. And today we are talking about yoga books. But first, you know, my coffee. My coffee is breakfast blend, Starbucks coffee pod curing cup thingy, K cup, K cup. And my shirt you've seen before. Eat, sleep, read, repeat. And no nail polish. No. Just don't have time. Anyway, um, so first we're gonna talk about this book. It's super cute. It's I Breathe by Susie Brooks and Hallie Johnson Isaacs. It is yoga poses for little ones. <clears throat> um, if you've seen some of my videos, you know, occasionally I talk about after the video, I'm going to go do some yoga and I have an app for that, but I'm trying to get my toddler into yoga. So we got some books. It says, would you like to discover your own secret special powers? Secret special powers. All you really need to do is breathe. With yoga, every breath can take you on an adventure. Through the jungle like a brave lion. To the forest like a strong, wise tree. Up into the sky like an airplane soar soaring free. Whee! Yoga can calm you down, cheer you up, and make you ready. I feel ready for anything. And I feel like that's true. Um, you can do it whenever you have aches and pains. You can do it whenever you're feeling frustrated or anxious. That's when I normally do it, whenever I'm feel like I'm hurt. <laughs> um, you sleep wrong and you have that crick in your neck. Um, the app that I use actually has specific, like you can specify what body part you need. I'm like, yeah. And the other night, my toddler was crazy. She hadn't had a nap that day. And it was, it was a plan to no nap day. Um, we had some cousins come over and they played out in the pools we had several little pools and a little splash pad set up in the backyard and uh so she played through nap and um then she was tired but didn't want to go to sleep and at like 10 10 30 I was like all right mommy's gonna meditate <laughs> and I put on, um, because she wouldn't even lay still to listen to a book. And so I put on my little, uh, little meditation for bedtime. And it was like, um, positive, it's like positive affirmations for bedtime or something like that. And I laid down, I was like, and you know, I was repeating what the, the voice was saying. And she laid down, she, like, what are you doing? <laughs> what, what are you doing, mom? And so she Okay, uh, finally she like plopped herself right here on top of me. And she was like, you know, the person would say something and then she would. Because she has a passy for bedtime, but she doesn't actually sleep with the passy in. It's a. The whole thing, she thinks she pretends like she needs it. And. Uh, we won't get into that. We're we're breaking. But right now we're picking our battles. Anyway, back to the book. Um, okay, let me move this. Sorry, I know that's loud. Um, and then it talks. So this book goes through different yoga poses. I was going to say moves. And I was like, you're not really moving. Um, and 
it gives you a little background on what the kid would do. So it says, Lulu feels brave like a fearless lion. She's not scared to climb up high. Lulu takes a deep breath, sticks out her tongue, and then lets out a loud roar, a loud proud roar. Imagine you're roaring lion. You're a roaring lion, too. Feel brave enough to try something new. And so each pose, it talks. You just don't want to turn. Um, calm like a bee. You know, they buzz. And so this is practicing how to hum and close your eyes and your ears and just hear your body. Um downward dog or playful puppy <laughs> and um talks about how you can lift one leg or wag your booty wag your tail is what it says um and then it even asks what uh, can you pretend to wag your a wag be a waggy dog Ma uh, what makes you feel happy The butterfly move with your legs and feel light enough to fly away. And then it talks about how to lay down and just feel your breath, but you, your stomach moving up and down. It says you can even put a soft teddy bear and watch the teddy bear go up and down when you breathe. What will you daydream about? Um, and my favorite, this is my favorite pose because... I think you have to have a lot of core muscle. It's not just about your leg. It's about your stomach and your back and relaxing into that pose and just focusing on that. And I think that it's um, why I like this pose. Just free pose. Um, it says Tess and Tom feel strong like an old wise tree. Um, Tom raises his branches and sways in the breeze. Um, it, this one, it also explains that, you, you know, you're feeling, you have to feel patient and strong even when you wobble. Good to know. And then um, the balloon pose. <laughs> um, pretend like you're blowing up a balloon. How high will you fly and what will you see? Because you're, you're the balloon. Um, child's pose. That's my second favorite pose. It's so comfortable. Um, imagine you're the teeniest and quietest mouse. Can you stay still and be quiet without making a sound? And then there's the airplane where you stand and you have one leg up and your arms out to your side. And then um, pretending to be like a bunny, it says she takes three short sniffs and then breathes out. Can you pretend to be a bouncing bunny full of energy and ready to play? Sometimes I need that too. I just need the energy because I'm tired. And then it goes through all of them. It does a little review. And um, I thought this book was cute. Um, when I saw this, I actually saw this um, at one of the conventions I did. On, I did the convention online because I had a, a baby with me at the time. And when I saw that this was a new book, I was like, I'm getting it. It was the first yoga book that um, my company sold. Um, this is a King Miller book. And I love it. And my little one likes me to read it and show her the poses. She's not yet. Um, so she does not do the poses. But that's okay. We're working on it. And then we have a new series called yoga animals and i have at the seashore and we also have in the arctic in the forest in, on on the farm and 
on the savannas. And so it says, jump, stretch, balance, breathe, and relax with the animals. Um, by Christine, Christine, Christine? I, I don't know how to say that car, and Jason Hook. Illustrated by Julia Green. And this one is also a Kane Miller book. Um, but we have the, the first official page. The first official page tells you that you're going to be reading this book and um, you're going to do what the animals do. And so you'll see the animal doing the pose. And then it'll be like, can you do it too? And it'll talk you through how to do it. It also says that it's recommended that children attempt these on a mat with the help of an adult. And um, it makes sense because a lot of people will think, oh, well, yoga is easy. It is, but you can still do something to harm your body. Like, especially kids, they'll see someone be like really stretchy and then they'll be like, oh, I can do that. And they'll cry and then they'll hurt themselves. And then you don't want that. Um, sort of like I used to be in dance and one of, I hurt my knee once. I like popped some blood vessels or something in it and uh, had trouble walking for a while. And it was because the dance teacher was like, I'm going to talk y'all through how to do this move and showed us the move. And I was like, oh, I can do that. I couldn't. And I got hurt. Anyway, so if you get these books for your kid, um, especially if they're younger kids, uh, just supervise them or help them get to the poses without overstretching. You don't want anything pulled. You don't want to go to the doctor or the hospital and be like, oh, yeah, they they overstretch. That's all. Um. So you have this one. It says Crab w woke up at the bottom of his tide pool, feeling cold, a little cold and stiff. When I wake up, says the pipe fish, I stretch. And S-T-R-E-T-C-H, like this. And then Crab stretches like the pipe fish. And he begins to feel warm. And so then it says, can you do it? And it talks you through how to do it. So he said it. Said it. Said it. it. My brain stuttered there for a second. Um, it says, step one, sit with your back straight and your legs crossed. Hold your ankles in your hands. Two. Breathe in as you round your back. Bring your shoulders and head forward and drop your chin to your chest. Three. As you breathe out, pull your chest forward and look up at the sky. Four. Repeat three times. So this is like a cat-cow situation, but in sitting form. And so... You have other, other animals. Um, you have the seal. You have an otter. Seagull. I like that move. Um, there's a starfish. Pretty much you're just laying on your back. Um, a a hermit crab. So now you have the crab doing what the hermit crab is doing. And so each one talks about how, you know, let me see. Um, go back to the beginning. So in the first one that we, uh, that I showed you, you know, crab began to feel warm. Um, and then he was feeling grumpy. But he, but he was feeling grumpy. And then he saw the seal. And the seal's like, well, when I feel grumpy, I float on my back like this. And um, 
crab felt himself floating like the seal. As he looked up at the sky, he started to smile. And then with the otter, he decided that he would go into the ocean. He helped, it helped him when he didn't know what to do. Um, but he was a little worried, a little nervous. So the seagull was like, well, do this. Balance on one leg. And Crab felt like he could do anything. And then he started to feel lonely. So the starfish um, was like, when I feel lonely, I spread my arms out wide as I can. Crab spread his, spread out just like starfish. And Crab felt okay just being himself. And then talked about how to do that. And then, um, Crab was exploring the ocean floor and he felt unsure. And that's when Hermit Crab's like, well, when I feel unsure, I point like this. And, um, it's the warrior pose. (laughs) But it doesn't tell you that. He's... These, this is the animal moves. And um, as the uh, crab started pointing like the hermit crab, crab knew he had made the right decision. Stingray. Um, he, uh, crab was feeling frustrated. And I like, I like this one also because you're pretty much just standing and then stretching up and tippy toeing and then bringing your arms down and putting your feet flat on the floor. Um, but as Crab reached up like a butterfly ray, Crab felt calmer. And then he met a dolphin. He was starting to feel tired and the dolphin showed him how to feel energize which is downward dog but there's no dogs in this so it's downward crab or dolphin downward dolphin um eel this is the one where you lay on your back and you raise your hips i can't remember the name for that one um but this one made him feel braver and then even the clownfish helped out the crab and made him feel happy. And then you have the pelican. Let all your worries float away. And then he was back in his tide pool and the snail, which is child's pose or a version of child's pose. <laughs> Um, and Crab remembered all the creatures who had helped, who had shared their day with him. And then he slept like a crab. <laughs> and then at the end, this is my favorite part, at the end, um, it talks about the benefit of each pose. And, um. I think this is an important page also. I know that like toddlers aren't going to care about this, but um, I think the older kids would be interested in this. At least I would have been. It talks about um, how stretching, you know, stretching is important and it increases the flexibility of your spine and promotes calmness and develops breath awareness. And then there's, you know, grounding and relaxing and lengthening the, the spine and all the different things that you went through in the book. And that is the end. And so this is the at the seashore um, yoga, yoga animals. I'm just having trouble today. Um, and I'm actually interested in getting the other one. I thought I had another one. But I couldn't find it when I was looking, so 
it, I don't know where it went. Um, but yoga books. It's n your your kid is never too too early to learn about ways to breathe and relax and stretch because stretching is important. Um, working on your core muscles and your back muscles are important, more important than people think they are. Um, I think nowadays people are like, oh yeah, you know, you need those. But it's never too early to start your kids learning about a form of exercise or stretching or breathing. Um, so two yoga books. Uh, I will put their links in the description below and um, like, comment, and subscribe. If you liked this video, um, that's a thumbs up. If you have any questions or if you have any of these books, comment below which what book you have. Um, do you have a different book? Even if it's not a Paper Pie book, Kane Miller book, or Us Born book, I want to know. Um, I'm always looking to get in books for my kiddo, so put a comment in the comment section. That's not what I was trying to say. I was trying to say, tell me in the comment section. Anyway, subscribe if you like watching my videos, and if you know someone whose kid could benefit from yoga books, or maybe they could benefit from yoga books, share my video with them. And um, if you can't share my video with them, let me know in the comments. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I will have a video somewhere here that you can click on and uh, watch a different video of mine. Alright, I will see you on my next video. Bye!